What's going on, YouTube? Well, it's, uh, <laughs> well, I've had a pretty crazy couple weeks. Um, the last video I did was literally, the, I, what I, I left a video saying I'm probably going to get a call, you have your shit ready tomorrow, and we'll pick you up, and we'll go to work. So that's what happened. The next day, I got a call from the, the push for the rig that I was on. And uh, I was picked up the next day. We drove for seven hours uh, into a small place in D.C. And uh, the next day, I was on my first day of work. All right, so what is your first week going to be like? Well, you know, I, I can't. I was only on there, I was only working for 10 days, and I'll explain why in a bit here. Um, thank you, Global Warming, you're a dick. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so what is your first, what can you expect from your first week? Well, now, if any of my coworkers saw this video, and some of these kids have been working since they're 18, this work is nothing for them because, you know, they've been doing this since they were a kid. They're all strong as an ox uh, and are able to do work that, honestly, I know one person who's physically capable of doing this job. Hey, Mike. <laughs> um, and he's the only person I know who is physically capable of doing this kind of work. I don't know anybody would be able to do this kind of work and I say that honestly and I haven't even seen the hard stuff yet I've seen um, a third day we we tripped in and out uh, 126 sections of pipe and I stacked them all Wow <laughs> um, if you've ever lifted the end of a 200 pound pipe before and done that 126 times in a row, then all the power to you. You're a strong son of a bitch. I did it for 100, and, I think there was 126 sections that I uh, took from, from the elevator onto the platform, kind of put them on a little like a Charlie horse for some, um, uh, what you do is you, you take these pipes from the elevator you bring them down to the floor, you hold an end of this 200 pound pipe, you put it on a dolly, the middle of the pipe, you put that on a small dolly, and you push the pipe down, you put one end of the pipe onto the rack, then you lift the end of the pipe, you set it down gently on the end of the rack. Now do this 126 times, you're lifting at least 100 pounds, um, and I, I've got to say, now, like I said, my coworkers would probably laugh if they saw this. They, they, you know, they, uh, these kids coming right from high school right into this kind of work, you know, by 10 years later, these guys are probably physically strong enough to punch a calf and knock it out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Was this hard work? Oh, f yes. Was it harder than I imagined? A little bit. I was prepared for it, but I wasn't really prepared. I mean, I mean physically, I was prepared and capable of doing it. Um, when I stacked all those sections of pipe, um, I was asked about six, seven times, do you need a break? Do you need a break? Do you need a break? Do you want me to take over? Do you want me to take over? And the only thing going on in my mind is, if I'm not capable of helping trip this pipe, non-stop with the crew that I was assigned to then I may as well just pack my shit and go home because when a push comes to shove the guys you're working with need to know you're gonna be able to do the job I mean they you, you, you can't be sent out to these jobs knowing full well that you're probably just gonna break down physically and screw everybody up. I now understand why hiring a green hand is such a huge risk because there's not too many people who could do this. No, no way. And I have 
you know, some of the guys on my crew might not have liked me much, but I sure as shit earned the respect for, you know, working my ass off. Literally, working my ass off. If I had nothing to do, I found something to do. If I couldn't find something to do, I asked for something to do. I was always working, nonstop. I didn't sit around with my thumb up my ass and try to get away with a 15 minute break when it wasn't break. I 100% gave it everything I had at all times. No matter what, I was 100% all in. Um, so that was my experience. Um, we got stuck in a really nice motel, I have to say. Um, and I met a lot of guys. Um, I'm going to give you a word of advice from personal experience. If you're working on the rig and the consultant comes over and tells you to take off your shirt and jump up and down naked and uh, do jumping jacks, then you better goddamn do it because if you do not listen to what the consultant says, he has the power to kick your company and your rig and everybody off of that site and get somebody else who's more than happy to take over. So from first-hand experience, I'm going to tell you, whatever you're doing, anything you're doing, no matter who told you what to do, if a consultant comes up to you and you're a green hand and he tells you to fucking do something, listen. Or it could mean you lose your job. I'm not kidding. You're not, if you're agreeing to this, you don't know who a consultant is, you're going to find out the first day you go on your rig. The, the consultant is God. Okay? Just keep that in mind. The consultant is God. If God tells you to do jumping jacks, do jumping jacks. If God tells you to lie on the ground and make worm sounds, then do it. Whatever you do, if a consultant says to do something, don't argue, don't question, just freaking do it. Or it could mean you lose your job. Okay? So this is from first hand, I didn't lose my job. <laughs> but this is first hand experience, man. If you're green and you're on site and a consultant tells you to do something, you goddamn well better do it. Okay? So, um, is it physically hard? Yep. Was it harder than I imagined? Yep. Um, has anything I've ever done in my past prepared me for this kind of work? Yep. Yep. But uh, nothing was as physically difficult as this. Nothing. No, no, not even close. I mean, you're lifting 120 pound pails up and down stairs. I'd like to see you do that. <laughs> I mean, you can't not have respect for the guys you work with because these guys are physically capable of doing the kind of work that you just honestly... Words just don't do any justice for what these guys are capable of. And I honestly have the greatest respect for these people. I mean... Day in, day out, they play hard, they work hard. And man, do they work. And when it comes right down to it, if they're not feeling good, they're not, they're not feeling well, they didn't get any sleep or whatever, they're there doing it. They have to. Because everyone on the crew is counting on them to come through. So, first week, what is it like? You're not going to be prepared for that kind of work. Um, if uh, you, you have to be happen to be the kind of guy who's in the gym five days a week, you may do, you're going to do okay, but you're going to work muscles you've never even knew that existed. That I can promise you. Um, is the money like? <laughs> well, I only had four days on my paycheck, and it was more than I'd make in two weeks in my other job. So, is the money good? Unbelievably good. Um, it's absolutely worth it. Um, so, I've kind of got 
in oh it's one second here <laughs> got some sausages cooking here so I mean I am gonna say that uh, it is absolutely worth it 100% um, if you're my age it's probably not because you're probably not physically capable of doing this job now mind you the crew that I was with they kind of set the pace for all the other crews so maybe I just had a hard week or whatever but you got to be able to put up a bullshit do what you're told learn quickly and do it safely if you can't do any of those you may as well not even bother um, now the one thing about global warming is it really affects us um, right now all of our rigs except for a couple are all grounded are all in the yard because right it just happened to warm up so much that instead of there being a layer of permafrost in the ground there's now muddy and there is no permafrost so we can't just go on the roads because we kill them um, even the farmers wouldn't be able to use the roads so most of these well sites we can't reach because we would just destroy the road getting in and out of there so so right now I'm in Kingston Ontario I flew back home uh, just to spend some time off uh, see my dog <laughs> and um, you know spend a little time with family and friends things are going great but um, you know this weather is I mean we had 22 degrees out here this is supposed to be winter <laughs> 22 degrees I was walking around in shirt and shorts what the hell so anyway um, I could be sitting here for a month waiting for the weather to turn around but in the meantime I got a temp job here in Kingston paying the bills I still got my junk business that's bringing in a little bit of money um, keep busy I don't want to sit around and uh, get lazy and then go back to this stuff so I'm trying to stay busy stay healthy stay fit um, things are going good thanks for watching um, Hopefully the next video I'm out on the rigs and uh, I'm just I got a one day break or something and I can do another video. So thanks for watching and uh, stay healthy, stay fit and be kind to your fellow man because karma's a bitch and it'll kick you right in the balls. <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.